Now let's look at the definition of common logs and natural logs. It turns out that though you can have logs of any base, two are much more common than the others. And the first one are called common logs. And all a common log is, is a log of base 10. So if they're so common, if we have log of 10, of let's say 100,000, right? Log 10, the 10th log of 100,000, we're gonna to try to find is we're gonna try 10 to what power is 100,000? It's five zeros, so that's 10 to the fifth, so that's five. Now this is such a common problem, we don't write the 10 here. And this is very akin to when we have square roots. When we have square roots, we don't typically write the two, right? But when we have cube roots or fourth roots, we do. And the same thing when you have seventh logs or ninth logs or eleventh logs, you write the number. But when you have tenth logs, you typically don't. So if you see a problem like this, log of 100,000 without a base, then the implied base is going to be 10. And then so that's going to be 5. And if you think about why we have common logs, um, and one of the reasons we have common logs is you can very easily approximate common logs. So let's say you had the log of 127,318. I, I don't know what that is. But if you think about that for a second, the log of 100,000 I can easily do in my head. Log of 100,000 is 5. Why? Because 10 to the fifth, 1 with 5 zeros. And log of a million is equal to 6, right? Because 10 to the 6th is equal to 1 million. So it gives you really a sense of a scale. Log of 127,000, I know, is between 5 and 6. For that matter, if it was log of 427,000, I would also know it's between 5 and 6. If it was log of... 9,312,615, I know that the log of 10 million is 7, right? 10 to the 7th is 1 with 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is going to be between 6 and 7. The other thing you can do with common logs is it's easy to do on your calculator, so you need to do it. Now, every calculator is going to be somewhat different, but any scientific calculator is going to have a log button. Uh, usually they have two buttons, an LOG button and an LN button, and we're going to look at the LOG button. So let's look at that. Let's look at the same problem we just did. Let's look at nine log of 9,312,615. So there you just type in log, type in the number, And that's about 5.969, if I round that to three decimal places. Now, if you notice on your calculator, you have an LOG button, you also have an LN button. And the LN button is what's called a, a natural log. And for the natural log, we need to remember what E is. So E is called the natural exponent, and it's about 2.718. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about what the natural exponent is. We do that later. If you um, watch uh, the videos on word problems on exponential growth and continuous growth. But for now, E is a number that's about 2.718. So if you see L in an X, then that simply means log base e of x. There's a couple of important things to notice here. First, if you ever have ln of e of let's say 3x minus 7, well let's think about what ln is. ln is simply log base e of e to the 3x minus 7, so the ln and the e are inverse operations, so they cancel, so that gives you 3x minus 7. So that's one thing you have to recognize is that ln, since it's log base e, is the inverse operation of e. And the second thing you have to remember is, is that this, 
There's also, you, this is also easy to do in your calculator. Let's say you had an LN of 12,519. Simply a matter of looking for your LN button. Here it's usually near the log. Sometimes it's um, a shift of the log button. In this case it has its own button. Just go LN, just type it in, 12519. And you get about 9.4. 3.5 if I round to three decimal places again. And that's what we have with common logs and natural logs.